Good evening, everybody. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Um, first off, thank you guys for signing up for the first ever South Talks. So, uh, we're thinking of continuing this as a series. Um, of course, talking about social media and digital marketing. And why we're doing this, as you can see in the title, we say it's... Ano nga yung subtitle natin? Digital just got real. Yes. Okay. Because before, digital marketing used to be something nice to have. Like, your business can still survive even if you're not online. Pero, in this time, impossible na siya. Like, mamamatay talaga even if it's online. And even if it is, you need to stand out because everybody's online na. Because of the That's pandemic. Right. Because everybody has to stay home. So, before, okay lang. Like, pwede. Pero now, it's it's real. It, we need to be online. So, we thought of starting this series so that we can help not just Southeast, but even kahit saan, kahit Northeast, <laughs> kahit from other countries, we can. So, um, you guys will be our guinea pigs. The joke lang. <laughs> so, we have our <laughs> first uh, few, like, I think we have 20, tama ba? 20 registered? 22? Yes. More than 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, so, welcome to the Zoom session, but we'll also be um, broadcasting this as an FB Live uh, video. <laughs> Weird, no? Live, pero recorded siya. Um, so, there. Yeah, and so, more people are coming in. Um, I think Yanni can start welcoming, tama ba? <laughs> okay, good evening again, everyone. Uh, my name is Yanni, and I'm one of the co-founders of uh, South Snippets. And tonight is our first ever um, uh, South Talks. So um, we created this one because we understand that especially SMEs are really in need uh, of uh, support for their business. So hopefully uh, through this uh, take note series of uh, webinars, uh, we will be able to not only help you survive, but somehow um, maybe make you, uh, your businesses uh, successful. So um, just to uh, uh, give you what to expect, um, the, the, the webinar is going to be 40 minutes long and uh, we'll be uh, making our presentation and by the end of uh, the presentation um, we'll give you a chance through to, to ask questions through our q a yep yeah, okay thank you so as you as he already mentioned that's yanni <laughs> um let me introduce everybody in the team before everybody before i introduce it now since we're on the title slide uh, this is social media management for businesses um why social media? Because everybody's on it. <laughs> uh, and it, digital marketing is a whole, like, it's a, it's a huge topic to talk about. So now we'll be talking about a small part of digital marketing. It's just social media. Okay, so Yanni, you met already. I'm Aisha. I'm one of the owners of South Snippets. And of course, I, I help everybody manage social media, like the clients and their own pages. And Donna. Can you say hi? Hi, everyone. So, I'm Donna, yes. I'm one of the social media managers of South Snippets. And yes, uh, also co-founded South Snippets with Yanni in 2012. And we will talk more about that later. So, yeah, just want to say hi. Thank you all for coming tonight. Okay. Um, see, Donna, probably she's the one more, most people are familiar with because she's the most active. She's the most active, especially like the clients, the inquiries. Yeah, she's the one who's the most active. Oh, yeah, and si Elizabeth. I'm just the one who's the South Snippets page. Okay, and then Eliza, say hi. Hi, guys. I'm Eliza. I'm the new West partner of, of yeah. South Snippets and also a social media manager in our team. Okay. So we all yeah. do the work together. <laughs> we split it. Okay. So let's talk about uh, who we are first. Donna, would you like to take the floor? 
if you've been following South Snippets, I think you're familiar with how we do things, uh, what we post, and stuff like that. But uh, just to give you a clearer idea on 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 what if it's all about so we we vision and our objectives for for building and and nurturing this community is because we want to create value in online discussions so it's not just for the sake of mema sabi lang uh, we really really want to make a difference in saudi's lives or you know other people's lives even northeast uh next we i think you are also, you also would notice that we are very deliberate when it comes to sharing positivity among followers. I'm pretty sure you won't encounter a lot of people sa pages or sa group ng South Snippets na nega or troll. So next, another is to promote the willingness to help others. If uh, We are very, very proud of our community because of you guys, because of you Saudis. Sobrang grabe yung bayanihan spirit natin. Like, I, somebody just posts something sa group, everybody's so willing to help. Next is, of course, we are advocates of local businesses. We support local businesses, entrepreneurs, startups. So, you know what? We don't really, we don't really mind helping out. Kahit minsan, um, um, you know, we, we don't even charge a lot for promotions or ads. The, just the, the fact that we can help you out or that we can support local businesses is enough for us. So, that's, that's basically who we are. Thank you. Eliza is going to talk about, you know, South Snippets also, but, you know, just the, the, the different platforms that we, we manage. Go, Eliza. Yes, like, I guess everybody knows our handle, it's South Snippets, all on all for Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So, currently on Facebook, we have 45, around 45,000 followers. And aside from our Facebook uh, page, we also have the South Snippets community where Southies can post helpful and informative contents. And it's like, um, it functions as the Bayanihan system. We help every Southie by sharing relevant information or events in the South. And we also have our Twitter account which currently has 15.5 followers and instagram we currently have around 4,000 followers yeah yeah next slide <laughs> <laughs> yes okay well we don't only post content about the south we also uh, provide services to different businesses not only in the south but yeah, even in the north or anywhere in the Philippines, it could be. So here are our clients and partners. So in the food industry, we have Mamalu's group. So that's Mamalu's Italian Kitchen and Nonas. And we also do social media management for BCI or Bacolod Chicken in a Sal. And not only in the food industry business, we also handle accounts of other businesses in different industries. Like in the construction industry, we have Floorstone and J Vasco. For the technical and system design, we have Ideal Controls. And South Snippets has also partnered with the different malls in the South. And we provide them our services in promotions and events and more. And you'll know more about the services that South Snippets provides. Yanni? Yes, um, for our services. Um, we're more than just a uh, uh, community. As uh, Elisa um, mentioned, we have um, different uh, clients from different industries. So what we offer our services. Um, first, we have ads and promotional uh, campaigns. 
So this is basically we are uh, creating ads and we are organizing campaigns through our um, social media platform. And we also have content creation. Um, from uh, the word itself, we create contents for our clients and that includes um, content um, planning. And thirdly, we have content management. Content management, this is more on um, uh, building brand identity and helping out brands to have online presence. So what we do for them is uh, content strategies and growing their online um, community. Okay, and next, uh, we also do community um, management. Um, what we do is we take care of uh, replying to messages and also um, comments on uh, the pages of uh, our uh, clients. Later on, we will be explaining why it is important to have uh, a very good uh, content uh, and community uh, management. Also, we have reputation management, uh, also known as uh, brand listening. So what we do is we, we try to see and research what uh, the people are saying about uh, your business or your brand. And lastly, we have ads management. And this is more on social media advertising strategy. Maikita Ninian with the sponsored ads or uh, boosting of um, um, posts. So we also help or guide our clients on how to effectively uh, place an ad to uh, the different um, social media platforms. So uh, Luna will, Donna will talk about the history of South Snippets. And uh, why are we talking about the history? Because you will see how even when we started, we've applied the same techniques. So actually, we call them rules now <laughs> because these are things Strategies. that we really need to do yeah, in order for us to grow our businesses online. And we do these things not just for our pages, but also for our clients. Go ahead. Like what Aisha mentioned, it's, it's critical that we discuss why and how we started our community because this will help you understand um, um, setting objectives for your own business or for your own. So uh, in, in 2012, it was just very simple. We, we started South Snippets because there was a service we were not getting. That's the very critical part of, of, of starting your own idea or having your own business. It's because you are offering a services or a service that is not being provided to, to somebody or to, to someone out there. So we said, okay, we're in the South, tapos ang traffic-traffic dito, pero wala kami nakikita mga updates sa Twitter kasi we're very active on Twitter in 2012. We, we, we saw that there were updates on traffic situations sa Commonwealth, sa EDSA, sa, you know, Ortiga, C5, but then we never see updates here in the South. So we said, you know, why don't we give it? Why don't we provide that information? So kami ni Layani and the, uh, previously, madami pa kami nun, um, we said na, sige, we'll provide the updates like weather events, um, traffic, lahat ng, na, lahat na yun, we provided on snippets. Twitter account, and then eventually we grew the community because, you know, a lot of people needed the information, and we were the only ones uh, giving it that time. And now you can find so much online. So it was great that we started early. Uh, next, we saw the potential in the idea. We didn't know that time. We didn't know ano yung potential. Even if you ask Yani, he just told us, you know, I have a good idea and do you want to do it with me? Do you want to, uh, do you want to start this thing? And we said, yes, okay, let's see how it goes because may mga full-time jobs pa kami nun. But, you know, now we, we see the, the realization of that idea and the realization of that potential. So there, South Snippets was, you know, now 70,000 long. And yes, in a nutshell, we only post two types of things, 
because these are the things that really put value in our content, that really put value in the lives of Saudis or our followers or our audience in the South. So one, we just have to make sure na it's about the South. Is it in Paranaque, Las Piñas, Muntinlupa, Cavite, or Laguna? Because if it's not, then that doesn't add value to our audience. That doesn't give them um, a benefit, kumbaga. And second, does it really benefit the community? Kasi pwede naman, nasa Paranaque nga yung update or information, pero nakakatulong ba talaga siya? Kasi pwede naman, may nag-away lang doon sa kanto ng Paranaque. <laughs> sa isang barangay sa Paranaque. But you know, does it really benefit them? If you share that information, what does it give them? So that's really what we, what we, uh, what guides us in our daily, um, in our management community and building the community. Correct. So, so number yes. two is actually uh, more weighty for us than something controversial or something that will go viral or that will add yeah. a lot of followers to our pages because ang daling humanap ng controversial eh, something na pag-uusapan but you have to consider if that will be good for the community that you you take care of diba? so if if you're going to handle your own pages for your business or you know kawang-gawa if you if you want to do something like that you really need to think about number two, if it will benefit your community because this is how you filter everything that comes into your inbox or, you know, everything that arrives at your doorstep um, na pwede mong i-post. Kasi ang dami-daming content, but if it doesn't benefit or your community or if it doesn't fit your values, then you don't need to think about going viral or, going, or becoming popular because that's not... Well, if that's not your goal, no? <laughs> um, so there, yun lang. That's why uh, these two are very simple lang. These two are our guides for um, for what we post. Yeah. When you do post something, um, you get a response from the people. And it's really important that you listen. It's the number one rule in managing a community and in managing a page. So why is it important to listen? Very important, very important, Shas. So this is one of our, one of the tips that we are giving you today. One of the strategies you should um, input in your accounts or in your social media platforms. Kasi nga, uh, listening to people or listening to your audience um, gives you so much, so much room for improvement and gives you so many possibilities that you, you've never even thought of. Kasi, you know, um, a lot of people have very good ideas. Ang ano lang is, of course, you have to listen. So if you don't listen or if you don't um, uh, listen to the chatter online, what they say to you or what they say about you, then pretty much you're missing out on a lot of opportunities that your business can, can achieve. So to you and about you, in social media management, what they're saying to you, pag may reviews, pag meron silang complaint, meron silang feedback sa product or sa service mo, that's when they are, that's what they are saying. So it's important to listen because dun mo na i-enhance pa yung product mo or yung service mo. And about you is listening to those things na hindi nila sinasabi sa'yo. Let's say, example, nasa Twitter, hindi naman kayo mini-mention, hindi naman kayo tinatag. Pero, meron dun nag-uusap about your pay si Mama Luz, ba? Ay, ayoko nung pizza dun sa Mama Luz kasi ganito, ganyan. So, if you're not listening online, if you're not listening to conversations that people are making about your brand online, then you're missing out. Meron ka palang problema dun sa isang branch or meron ka palang problema sa isang item mo sa menu. Then, diba? Then that means you can't improve that. So, there you go. To you, what they're saying to you, meaning pag mini-message kayo sa page or kinocomment nila yung mga posts nyo, and about you, that is like doing a Google search. May mga reviews dyan minsan, lalabas. Or, punta ka lang sa Twitter or 
Instagram, hashtags nyo. When you search your hashtags, hashtags or keywords, makita nyo na na people are thinking about your brand. So it doesn't have to be, uh, you don't have to agree. Sometimes maybe you will disagree and you will feel hurt, but you only, you only have to listen and filter and see kung alin dun ang pwede mong gamitin to improve or enhance your product or your service. Maybe you have to, you have things to add? Just to um, uh, add to what sinabi ni Donna, um, when you say listen, kasi um, your audience, especially on uh, uh, social media, uh, sila yung map ninyo towards your brand's success. So it's not only about how you would run your business, how you would improve your products, but also what what content creates value towards uh, at your um, audience. So titingnan mo din kung ano yung mga pinapost mo, which one, uh, uh, which post na nagre-react yung mga uh, followers ninyo. So it's also uh, a guide for you uh, to strategize for your um, social media content. And of course, uh, sabi nga ni Donna, it's also to improve your products and especially yung uh, customer service. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I think I, I would pretty much agree with Yanni 100% na mm-hmm. ang ganda maging gauge yung kung ano yung sinasabi nila about you because you get to feel how people react to your brand or how people react to your posts, to your content. So kung yeah. something works, of course you keep doing that. If something doesn't work, then maybe time to change it. So there. Yes. Um, based from okay. our experience, kasi ito, so, uh, go ahead. <laughs> sige, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, based from our experience, because we had clients na first time to have, uh, let's say, uh, their social media especially nung nagsisimula pa lang. So, of course, uh, you would be very excited to create posts and then you have your own strategies that uh, you're excited about that you think uh, uh, will make people watch your video or like your photos. But what we learn is it's not really about having a very good uh, idea. It's all about listening to your followers because uh, your followers are very very unique so you listen to them because iba yung followers ng ibang businesses so you don't just copy the strategies of other uh, businesses because uh, people liked or followed you in social media because they see value in uh, what you post and in what you offer okay so what i was going to say was um with traditional marketing yung TV, print, tsaka billboards, si mga ganyan, you can't really get direct feedback from your audience. Like, you need to do a survey or uh, you need to do a focus group discussion for you to get anything from your audience. But the beauty with, of social media is you get immediate reactions, you get engagement, and you get comments. And you get uh, PMs, diba? Nag, Nag-DM sila minsan. So, because of that, you're able to listen to your audience uh, better and real time usually. So this is a very good platform for you to get feedback. Kaya kailangan siyang i-maximize because if you don't, you're missing out on everything that your audience has to say to you. For example, um, it actually helps with influence. For example, uh, when we posted about Kalax before, so nag-open yung C5 overpass, tama ba yung ba yung tawag doon? Pero pagbaba ng oh. Facebook road, flyover. Flyover. Pagbaba ng Kaingin Road, sobrang sira yung daan. So, may nag-comment lang actually na matraffic pa din pagbaba. And because of that, uh, we were able to listen doon sa comment nung taon na yun. Isa lang yun eh. And we were able to get that to the Calax team and to DPWH kay Mark Villar. And because of that, after a month, gawa na siya. Right. So, that's the power of listening to your audience. It was just one comment that we were able to pass on to the authorities. So, you can see the potential of just listening. Yun, yun lang. Just an example. Good example. Okay. Mm. Pwede ka lang ulit. Joke. Don't take yourself seriously nor anything personally. So, on social media, 
I think everybody here would agree that there are so many people who can say so many negative things and so who could be very critical and who could troll you in 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 your comments or in your posts. So really, if you listen, yes, okay, but then you have to filter because why? Not everything is helpful. Not everything, not everything is beneficial. Not every, um, not every criticism is going to propel your business into um, improvement actions, diba? So, the, these are just a, a few tips that we've compiled. Maybe, but if you have anything to add, Yanni, wala, wala. Yep, we'll move on. Move on, sige. So, just a few things that we've compiled. It's not always about you. So, on social media, please understand that, you know, even if they say hurtful things or even if they say negative things, sometimes it's not really about you. Sometimes iba yung motivation ng tao. So, you can't really assume na I or take offense na I nakaka-hurt ka or you are attacking me. So, That's we right. have to understand all the time, perspective lang. Sometimes mm -hmm. may pinagdadaanan siya. <laughs> yung mga ganang bagay, di ba? Okay. What, what's the next That's one? That's why, um, if you notice, yeah. you know na namin si Listen kasi uh, connected ito dito sa number two. Uh, meaning, uh, you don't always have to um, take it personally or be offended. You have to look at it as an opportunity for you to maybe revisit or review uh, what uh, you're offering uh, to uh, your customers. Because minsan uh, iba lang yung way nila. We encounter different all sorts of uh, uh, special people sa internet, and iba yung iba iba yung way nila to um, complain or to say to to give a review. But if you really listen, it's also a big, big opportunity for you to uh, check on uh, what you're doing and uh, what you're doing online. Moving on to the next one, it gets ugly all the time. Um, I think it's true for for accounts such as ours who have a large following. Meron talagang times na yes, yeah, something bad really goes, uh, really happens. Something really goes awry. Um, it, you can't help it. Social media is a wild animal. You can't tame it. And it's crazy. Like, seriously crazy. It's stressful. So, you know, you have to expect that. Minsan, may mali ka talagang mapopost. Or minsan, wala ka namang intention na masama. Pero, iba yung nagiging interpretation. So, it does happen. So, take it with a grain of salt. Compose yourself. You know, dust yourself. Up and just be focused on your values. Diba? Right. If wala kang intention na masama or wala kang ginagawa masama, then that's really fine. Just let it go. Okay. Next one. Mm -hmm. Apply humor when possible. I I have something to say about that. Really, <laughs> Yanni. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, the, the weak corner. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> because uh, most brands, kasi, they have this notion na kailangan serioso on social media but no really once in a while it's okay to be entertaining once in a while it's okay to crack a joke or to post memes diba? so i think it really works because people go to social media to entertain themselves so if always ka lang so, so and always lang wow product 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 or you know this is like good for you or this is you know um sometimes we just need a so here memes funny stuff jokes really work this would also help to uh, uh how do i say this humanize your your brand because now you're connecting to people so if you're able to insert some humor uh now and then then they would actually feel that you're not just there to um sell or convince them to uh, get your product you know, so nakikita nila again, katulad ng sinabi ko, uh, you create uh, value sa audience mo. Because, uh, you know, social media is, pag nasa social media ka, you're bombarded with uh, so many ads, right? And 
this is one way for you to catch the attention of um, a, a listener or a, a customer. A good example of a social media account that uses humor is Angkas. Ang galing nila dyan. Sumakay right. stream, sumakay yeah. joke. And it's not just on their social media, but also on every platform. Kahit sa text messages nila, they're funny. And it catches the attention and it, it introduces the character of the brand. So, although sa kanila, um, medyo, ano, parang may times sa puro humor na lang siya. <laughs> so, medyo overly done. Right. But they, they know to uh-huh. be serious when they need to be serious. And yun, you just need to strike a balance between being funny and being serious. Yeah, and, so, and that yeah. goes to the next step, actually. Don't try too hard. Kasi, like Yanni said, you're human. And it's important to for your audience to know that you are human. And trying too hard is also an, another example. Yung masyado, nang, masyado ka nang majoke or you don't know when to stop. So that's really, that's really crucial kasi minsan may mga, let's say ngayon, it's very, it's very sensitive. People are sensitive kasi sobrang um, stressful ng situation, the pandemic, you know, the, the current status of, of, of the world. So being too funny or being too lighthearted naman doesn't really work. So you have to, like what Aisha said, strike a balance. And the last one, of course, when when you see that social media or your community is teeming with trolls, of course you have to weed them out. That's that's being like if you have to hide their comments, hide their comments. If mm-hmm. they 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 speak really offensive words, then you can ban them. You know, if if it gets really extreme, ban them. But as much as you can, you can hide comments na hindi nakakatulong sa conversation. So that's what we usually do with snippets kasi minsan may mga controversial issues talaga. And there are times na sobrang galit sila, they would curse. So you know, what we can do is we just hide them because they they don't help with the discussion. And actually, weeding out the trolls happens naturally most of the time because if you know your values, that's why we started our presentation with the values. If you know your values, then you attract the people who also have the same. And yung mga hindi, let's say maliligaw sila dun sa community nyo or sa page nyo, but eventually they'll fall off because they don't just share, they don't believe in the same things as you do. But yun nga, sometimes you have to do it proactively. <laughs> yun. Okay, the next is we adopt the uh, 80-20 rule. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> since we were discussing that a while ago, um, mm-hmm. very, very quick na lang to. Since um, it's pretty much self-explanatory, 80-20 rule. So 80% of content that you put out there should educate, inform, and entertain. Those are the key objectives that you must always employ because people do not go to social media, media just to be sold at. So hindi ka naman, kung ako, paglalagi na ako sa Facebook, hindi naman ako pupunta doon madalas para lang, sige, gusto kong pumunta ang Facebook para bentahan nila ako. Hindi naman, di ba? So, yung pinaka gusto mo talaga is to get updated, to get connected, to get um, to get information, to get the news. So, 80% of content that you put out on your page should really be focused on educating, informing, and entertaining your audience. 20% lang yung direct selling. So you, hey, uh, you know, this is what the product that we're offering right now. You know, those posts should be kept to a minimum. But educational, informative, and entertaining content is king. Baka meron kayo yung friend ngayon na kung ano-ano yung binibenta. <laughs> Nag-unfollow na ba kayo ng friend na puro benta na lang yung post? <laughs> May mga nabasa na akong ganyan. It's precisely because of this. I, I friended you on Facebook because I wanted to connect with you, pero hindi para bentahan mo lang ako. <laughs> so, yeah. Yun, you can think of it that way. That's why if you have a business online, you have to create a page, not use your personal Facebook accounts because nakaka-turn off talaga yun for your friends. 
Yeah, unfollow ka lang nila. Or unfollow yeah. <laughs> Four is don't leave your customers hanging. That's ano yan. I think this is one strength. If um, I would be asked, ano yung pinaka strength ni South Snippets? <laughs> the services. Ito yung uh, one of our strengths. Um, we want to make sure that we listen to our um, followers, be it from uh, South Snippets or our clients from <coughs> um, um, Bacolo Chicken in Osal or J. Vasco and uh, Mama Luz and Nonas. Uh, we make sure that um, all messages or comments are uh, being checked and we make sure na we reply to all of them and we listen to what they are saying. Of course, there are times that, uh, well, we're human, so we have human error. We're not chatbots. There are times that... Uh, uh, hindi namin nakikita yung isang isang message but still uh, we make sure na when we see it we still try to communicate with uh, the the customers or uh, the followers and uh, i think a perfect example of this is um, having your send message button on your page if you turn on that button or if you turn on that feature na they can message you and you're not there to reply. That's, that, that defeats the purpose, right? So the mm. thing that you want to do is you want to sell something, but you don't want to speak to, if you don't want to speak to them or if you don't have the time for them, then do you mm. think they will really buy from you? So mm -hmm. I think that's a, a very critical question that you should ask yourself. Why mm. aren't I on top of my messages why aren't i on top of my comment section and why aren't i reply or responding to mers when that's pretty much a sale it translates to a sale so sometimes you know what um we've had experiences na wala silang plano pumili pero sa nila dahil funny ka or dahil ang witty mo nag order ako sa mama Luz. that's true that's a true story you know, they ordered because they saw that right. somebody is interacting with them, somebody is entertaining them, and they 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 take notice. They really notice that, and mm -hmm. they they recognize that sa brand. So you have mm -hmm. to admit, chatbots and all, we are still well, human. The human touch is still the biggest thing on social media. You have to admit, if there's a heartbeat, okay. that's something worth talking to. <laughs> Rule number five is you fake it and will you make it? No, you will never make it if you fake it. You will um, never make it, yes. <laughs> this talks about keeping it real. So what's real versus what's expected? Mm -hmm. Expectations need to be yeah. equal to the reality. See, Bacolod Chicken and Nasa, they're here. They're very particular about this. Like when we do photo shoots and whatever we post, Yung images need to be real. Like, pag may umorder, ang dadating sa kanya has the same amount of meat, same amount of vegetables. Because, right. you know those McDonald's ads na parang, wow, ang laki ng burger, pero pag dating sa'yo, maliit pa sa palm mo yung burger. So, <laughs> nakaka-disappoint siya. And mm -hmm. now, with everything that we post on social media, especially on IG, na very visual, um, mm -hmm. nakakainganyo naman talagang bumili if you're selling something. Okay. Like images on IG. Tapos pagdating sa'yo, iba yung itsura, you're never going to buy from that business again. To add one sa uh, number five, um, you have to be authentic online. And uh, I think best uh, advice that I can give you if, if you have a product, um, a sign of a uh, good uh, uh, of a good authenticity is maybe using uh, some photos or materials coming from your customers. Kasi alam nila yon na paggaling sa customers yung materials, it's uh, most likely yun talaga yung sinaserve niya na product or yun talaga yung service na na binibigay uh, ninyo. Okay? And uh, masyadong sensitive ang social media 
So once you're caught or uh, you're caught lying to your customers or not keeping a promise to your customers, it uh, may become a, a very, very uh, big problem for your, uh, for your brand. Donna Elisa, you have anything to add? So number five. Well, I guess authenticity, like what you have mentioned, uh -huh. even the way you communicate uh -huh. with your customers or with your audience. Yes, yes. You have to be real with what you tell them. <laughs> right. Because it's easy to tell if you're faking it. So, pati yung communication ninyo with uh, uh, your customers. That's a, a very good point. Yeah, I think Basically, I think nasabi niyo naman yata lahat. Okay. So, right. just like sounding off, yes. Sounding off on what you said. People people really can tell if you're faking it. And you can't get loyal followers. You can't get a loyal audience if you, you know, don't really give them what's real. I think na mentioned to ni Aisha very, very frequently. Oh, the whole it's connected night. to number one. Right. Yeah, it's connected okay. and it's connected with everything. I think it's the most yeah. the most important lesson for today, takeaway for today. This is the last and definitely this is the most important takeaway for you this this evening. Because if you keep your values alive, mm -hmm. it's very easy to get a following or an audience that will protect you, that will be with you, and that will support you kahit ano pa mangyari. Like really, we've proven this many, many times via South Snippets. There are things that some, sometimes go wrong, but then our followers are the first people, South are the first people to defend us. Now these are the first sa front lines. Like really, literally, sila yung nagsasabi, don't say that because we know these people, we've been following this page, they've always um accurate information mga ng bagay so you know if you have a following that share shares the same beliefs as you do it's guaranteed kahit you make a mistake they will be there to support you and they will be there for the long run okay and also uh, just to add um <clears throat> when you say keeping your values kasi you have to be consistent especially if uh you're um, a, a big business. Who you are when you operate your business should be consistent doon sa who you are online. So yung values nyo when during operation dapat parehas siya doon sa values what you believe in uh, doon sa mag project ninyo sa online and sa brand ninyo. And I think sa mga sales, kung meron dito na nasa sales ng isang company or ng sarili ninyong businesses, I think it's it's a very common um, experience na sometimes wala naman kailangan yung customer or hindi niya naman kailangan actually yung product mo pero kung bibili pa rin siya talaga kasi you already have this relationship and you already have this this rapport or chemistry and you you both have this connection already. So, you know, sometimes, sige, bibili, bibili pa rin ako sa'yo kahit mura yung sa kabila. Because you're the one that I trust and you're the one that I'm comfortable um, transacting with. That's so, right. it's, a, it's a common experience for very, very good salespeople talaga. So, maybe you can help with this. So, what's the first tip? Listen. So... To summarize, listening is um, making sure that you're on top of your mess your messages, your calls, and regularly checking for conversations about your brand or your keywords on social media. So doing a quick search on the hashtags or sa Google. Geotags. Tags, right? I keep forgetting that. So geotags on Instagram, very, very useful because um, doon mo nakikita yung mga posts about mm -hmm. your product or your service. Sometimes mm -hmm. hindi mo siya nakikita kasi hindi ka nila minimension. So number two, don't take it personally. 
Anyone mm-hmm. wanna summarize? So don't take it personally. Basically, it's not about you. Don't be too serious and take advantage to any um, negative and good uh, comments to improve your uh, business. Adopt the 80-20 rule. So that's 80% educational, informative, and entertaining na content or na posts versus Mm -hmm. 20% direct selling and promotional. Number four, don't leave customers hanging. So always be respond always be responding to your customers or clients online because that's the main idea. Why did you even put up a page if you don't want to interact or connect? Diba? So five, don't fake it. Right. Expectations versus reality. What they see online, what you post online should always be what they will receive in real mm. life. And right. lastly, share your values because your followers or your audience, they are your supporters. So if you share the thieves, it's easy to support somebody and it's easy to um, do business with somebody who share the same values with you. Okay, so um, we've talked about the six rules of managing your social media accounts. Um, do you have any questions? Hi, Aish. This is Miles. Hi, Sorry. Hi. Yes, I just have a question. Um, so, as a social media company, what is your greatest challenge in terms of client management and how do you handle it? Sobrang, sobrang hirap ng tanong mo, Miles. Ha? Andito yung mga clients namin. <laughs> walang mahirap. Walang mahirap sa trabaho namin. Wala, wala. Very, ano, very smooth <laughs> <laughs> no, um, na, I think ano ba? Um, I think siguro yung mga pinaka challenging is really finding the brand's personality, tone, voice, right. mm-hmm. and the right content that will fit their their you know their brand identity. Yun ang mahirap mm-hmm. kasi sa sobrang ingay ng social media and you know uh, sa sobrang excitement minsan. Um, mm-hmm. we, we often forget, even kami, we often forget kung ano ba talaga yung pinaka um, objective or purpose ng brand or ng identity namin. Sometimes, nakakalimutan mo talaga yan. But really, I think that's the most challenging, yung, yung being consistent. Consistent ka sa messaging, consistent ka sa image, consistent ka sa pagpo-provide ng service. Customer service right. online. Right. Mm-hmm. That's my take. So, sana hindi naman, sorry ha, kung na-open <laughs> akong clients. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's gonna answer next? Who's gonna add? For me, as a, a, a social media manager, I think ang, ang, um, one of uh, the most difficult challenge na, na, na experience ko is trying to connect uh, what the business owner wants and what the audience wants. Because oh the yes. customer mo eh. when you're a social media manager, it's, you're not only serving um, uh, the customer of the business, but also you're serving uh, the owner of the business. So somehow you have to connect uh, all those uh, very important uh, details. Because equally important uh, sila towards the uh, sabi nga natin, keeping the value of the business alive. So you have to uh, listen to both and then you have to make your wonders to create a package for that that would benefit uh, the business, meaning they would uh, uh, be more successful in terms of sales and audience and you know followers and also uh, um, um, creating value doon sa naririnig at nakikita ng mga followers nung uh, specific uh, business. Oh, sobrang totoo yan. So just like uh, another, uh, I just want to add with add to what Yani said. Um, I think we should break that particular notion na I'm on social media to sell. No, you're not. You're on social media to provide customer service. 
you always have to remember as a business owner, mm. as an entrepreneur, I'm not here to sell because selling is just a product, just a result of providing customer service. You always have to think of social media not as a marketing tool. Yes, okay, but no, it's more more a customer service tool. So, mm-hmm. I think I think that's the the biggest takeaway or the biggest lesson that we've learned through the years. We really are here to serve people or our audience. We are not here to sell, but serve them. Amen. Amen. Alien. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys for that enlightening share. Okay. Appreciate Thanks it. Thank you for the very good question, Miles. Good question. Okay Thank pa you. yung contract natin. Okay pa. Okay, okay pa. Okay pa. <laughs> <laughs> um, other questions maybe? We can take more questions. You can type it sa chat or you can just speak. I have a question. Earlier you mentioned okay. <laughs> earlier you mentioned that um, never ever leave your customers hanging. Mm. Now what should mm. I do if I miss a message tapos sobrang tagal na nung lumipas na time before or after ko siya nakita? Should I still reply? Okay. What should I do? Okay. Said or what we mentioned a while ago was don't leave them hanging. All right. It didn't really say that Kailangan instant, right? Mm-hmm. Just that you don't leave an inquiry or a message answered. So kahit matagal pa yan, it's okay. It happens. You're human. You're not a uh, you're not uh, a chatbot. chatbot. So yes. So okay lang na matagal na, and then you reply. But just be straightforward. Just be honest. Just be sincere. I'm sorry we missed your message. Is there is there anything that I can help you with right now? Diba? So time and again we've experienced that before. Hindi nga namin siya, like I, I totally missed a, um, a very complaint pa yun, I totally missed the complaint because comment siya. So means and sobrang like viral posts. Hindi mo siya mapapansin kasi it's technology that mm-hmm. happens. So of course I missed it. And then we re- I replied and then you know they they said that it was okay and thank you Paren because you replied yeah. they're still very appreciative because you know um, all of us on social media social social media <laughs> social media just want to be heard mm-hmm. you just want to be listened to mm-hmm. diba? so if somebody entertains that or if somebody acknowledges you that's pretty much you know a win in 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 our book. Right, right. Rather than being seen zoned. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yes, that's a cardinal. Yes, that's a cardinal rule. Talasin talaga na hindi mo replyan or ililive mo lang na wala, na walang resolution. Kailangan my closure. Hindi lang sa love life. Kailangan sa social media my closure. So kailangan mo talaga ang reply kahit matagal pa yan. Oh, yes. Isa said, agree with Donna, apologize and reply to the inquiry. Yes, thank you, Isa. Mm-hmm. Isa. Okay. Isa. <laughs> thank you, Donna. <laughs> Any other questions? Hello, po. Oh, uh, yes. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hi, Diana. Uh, yun po, um, kasi ay so sa Pinterest yung mga may mga um, best time to post. Um, my question is, totoo ba yun? <laughs> or kung totoo man, ano, y- ano po yung best time of the day to post mga um, your products po? Ganon. Okay. Meron bang sasagot? Yeah, I can answer. Uh, one Go is I... you need to know your audience. Look at your insights mm-hmm. and you will find kung kailan sila online. Okay. Yon. Uh, check when they're online and then you can post dun sa time na nandyan sila. And also, yeah. depende sa product mo naman. When will your product be used or when will people consider purchasing your product? For example, when you're sa food, um, if you're selling food na for delivery na luto na, then you sell 
yung time kung kailan sila nag-iisip mag-breakfast, kailan sila nag-iisip mag-lunch, saka kailan yung merienda or dinner. And that's when you post because you want to suggest to your audience na, Uy, I'm here, baka naman gusto mong order rin ito. Parang ganon. Or if you know that your audience, for example, it's not selling but you're informing your audience of something and you know they're online at 9pm kasi nagpapantok na sila so nagbrowse-browse sila on Facebook, then you post your informative or your educational material at that time. So kung kailan sila okay. gising. At Pero kung anong if... ginagawa ang shadow. Uh, pero po kasi nakita ko parang if for direct selling is um, parang helpful siya during mga parang lean hours, mga 2, 2 to 4, mga gano'n. Um, kasi mga rules na ganyan don't apply anymore because everybody's at home at this uh, okay. pandemic time. Um, <laughs> before kasi, di ba, sasabihin, after, after ng lunch, the, after na lang siya office, medyo tamad pa mag-start ng work. So, mag-browse-browse mo na yan. Before, pwede. Pero ngayon, wala nang, hindi masyado nag apply yung work hours. Or, yeah. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you. So, welcome. And yun nga, like what Aisha said, I, you, you have to to take a look at your audience behavior. So, look at your insights. Click on posts mm-hmm. because may kita mo doon kailan sila online. Kailan sila active? Okay. Uh, so, if if you guys have any more questions na baka hindi nyo lang siya maisip now, then you can send them to us through our page um, at South Nipit uh, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, so, you for sure will answer. <laughs> we won't yes. leave you hanging. And yes. uh, if you have any comments on how to improve what we do because we'll be doing this every week. Every Wednesday? <laughs> yeah. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m., we will try. <laughs> um, and uh, if you guys have anything to share, if you'd like to be a speaker in one of our sessions, let us know as well. So, ayun lang. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming. See, I, I, I saw thank you, thank you, Saudi. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Have a good evening and stay safe. Yes, please. Stay at home if you can. <laughs> <laughs>